Hello folks, let's take a look at what is called context in API.ai. I'll first show you what we are trying to achieve here and, uh, and then I'll talk about how we could use context in this particular scenario. So this is the same example as before, the Yahoo Weather app. And in addition to that, I have added a query uh, which will go and get uh, some data from Google BigQuery, uh, the IRS data set with Google BigQuery. It's basically a number of organizations, nonprofit organizations uh, in the US. So let's start with how is the weather in Sunnyvale? comes back and gives me the weather and now I ask it how about Santa Clara see how it remembers that I asked uh, you know I'm still talking of the weather so it remembers the context now if I go here and say uh, how many orgs how many orgs in Boston right this is the IRS data that I was talking of from the Google public BigQuery data set now I ask it the same question how about Santa Clara? Now this time, when I ask it, how about Santa Clara, uh, it came back with zero organizations for whatever reasons, but uh, let's try another question. How about Sunnyvale? Now it came back with the number. So over here, when I asked it, how about Santa Clara, it talked of the weather. And over here, when I said, how about a sunny wheel, uh, it talked about the number of organizations. So it was basically able to remember that uh, the context of the conversation was either weather or, uh, or you know, the number of organizations here. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can achieve this using API.ai. Here are some intents that I have created. You could ignore this one that says smartphone count. Uh, let's look at check weather. Is there all the regular stuff? Uh, you know, a few sample queries that the user might ask and then uh, all the usual thing. What is new is this parameter called my action. Uh, as we move forward, you'll see what I'm doing with it. And in my action parameter I'm going to hard code or you know specify a constant value of uh, Yahoo weather forecast the same as the action name and up here I created something called my context uh, the way to create that is you just go ahead and type whatever you need all right just type it here and uh, by default this would be five the lifespan would be five uh, I changed it to three just going to delete it. I was just showing you how to add it. But anyway, so what I have here is my context and I'll talk of uh, the lifespan in a moment also. So I'm going to go save that. And uh, so in check weather, I have my context and I have a parameter called my action with the same value as in action. Now for the other intent, which is check organization count, I have a uh, Again, my action, uh, the value is IRS, which is same as the action name here. And then again, I have a context that I created here uh, called my context. Now, for questions like this, right? How about Sunnyvale or where I'm just typing the city name? Uh, let's try it here in API.ai actually. How is the or how many orgs in Walnut Creek. Now I say, how about Sunnyvale? When I talk just of the city name or, you know, without saying what I'm talking of and I wanted to remember the context, it goes to an intent called previous intent. Now let's see what previous intent has. It's the same thing here. The one that you see here is this one here, previous intent. There are a few sample questions I have given it here where I am not talking of you know, what I'm asking about, but it's just the city name, right? How about, oh, what about Sunnyvale or how about Sunnyvale or it just calling, you know, just, just giving the city name, right? Santa Clara, for example, right? It's supposed to come back with the uh, organization count. 
because that's the current context. Anyways, uh, here are the samples I gave. Down here, there's the usual uh, GeoCity parameter. And for my action, here's the trick. For my action, you're going to say the value is actually going to be the my action from my current context. So whichever context is currently uh, active, right? It's going to take the action from that context. It's going to take the value of my action parameter, which in this case is IRS, uh, which is part of my context and assign it to the previous intents, uh, my action. And uh, that is what helps it remember the context and respond in that way. Uh, one quick thing that I also did in the code for this to happen was, uh, I went and got my previous action as my action, right? The, the my action parameter. And if my action is previous context, that is, if it is this action, then change my action to my previous action, which in this case uh, would be the my action parameter. Hopefully I didn't confuse you there. I'll try and uh, put a, a quick diagram also if I'm able to, uh, which helps you understand this. But yeah, uh, that, that's how you could make use of context and uh, the, uh, the, what's that? The lifespan, uh, this is how the lifespan comes into picture. So let's say I'm talking of the weather year, right? So I'm saying, how is the weather in Sunnyvale? How about Santa Clara? Mountain View and Boston. One last one. Uh, I don't know. Again, I'll try Boston. It's okay. See how I started talking of the weather year. Then there was question, you know, the first call follow up question. The second follow-up question, the third follow-up question. When I came with the fourth follow-up question, it forgot what I was talking of, or it, it didn't know what I was talking of. Basically, the context was reset. So again, this is zero, one, two, and three. That's what the lifespan was. The lifespan here is set to uh, three, remember? And uh, that's what the lifespan does. When, when I ask three questions and when I read the fourth question, it uh, kind of resets the context and forgets what I was talking of. Uh, and if you were to watch it from api.ai, you'll see how is the weather in San Ramon. It has this context here. It has come back with the response. Now I just say Sunnyvale. This is my first follow-up question. The context is there. Santa Clara, second follow-up question. The context is still there. And I'm going to say Los Altos. Third follow-up question, it will still give me the answer, but now the context is gone. And next time I say uh, some other city or ask the question, it's going to say, you know, you know, it basically won't get the response because the context is reset or the lifespan is over. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up.